You know, here at Geek Pride, we like to have special guests occasionally when we do a break grub. And this month for January is no exception. Greetings, my name is Lord Edward Braithwaite, or Lordy B. So you know what we should do? We should open this and see what's in there. Hi, Internet Lee. Hello. This is Lord Edward Braithwaite. Lord E.B. Lord E.B. You can call me that. Distant yeah. relative of mine who came to help us with Brick Grub. Actually, his fifth cousin twice removed on his grandmother's side. Yeah. You know, actually, this is a sham because this is really Jason. This is not a Lord. But I do have something for Lord Edward Braithwaite. Oh. Merry Christmas. Ah. Go ahead and open that. It's not going to explode, I promise. If it's a severed head, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> it's not. It's one of these. Cust customs declaration. Yeah. Because you're not Lord Edward Braithwaite. <laughs> you are Lord, officially Lord Jason Stats. It's actually kind of fitting because I am royalty in the Netherlands. Well, you're now royalty anywhere in the world. You are now Lord Jason. Merry Christmas. This has been here for ages. We haven't met up since Christmas. So, Isn't this like one of those <laughs> things where you buy like a foot of land in Ireland or so something exactly like that? exactly what it is. I have a vacation <laughs> property. So, Merry Christmas, Lord Jason. And I will treat you accordingly. He kept saying to me, why am I doing this dumb Lord character? Well, that was the reason. <laughs> well, now that I broke character, <clears throat> let me get back into it. Now that, I have, right. now that I have the official title. Now you can get back into it, mate. So it's out promoting my book. Which is? My Adventures in Proctology. Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. You know, I, I've read that. Oh, I was actually, uh, I actually was <laughs> under the name of, uh, I was a ghost writer, you know, ghost. Un I went under the name Dr. Octavius Shitwagon. Well, this has left me in a bit of a kerfuffle. Very good timing, I must say. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going to put that. That might go up by where I edit the videos. <clears throat> or in the bathroom. We're in the bathroom. All right, here we go. This is a big box. It's what she said. <clears throat> First of all, some dumpling mix. These are terrific. I, have, I, have a, I still have one box of those, but... Oh. oh, she loves dumplings. This is good till January next year, so <laughs> we're good on those. I heard you recently got married. I did. To a woman... Surprisingly, yeah. Does she know? She does. So does Kristen. Um, greens, traditional crumble. Top it. Society needs to crumble. <laughs> I had, can't do the thing anymore. We've, that's all right. We've <laughs> had this before, and it's pretty good. Kristen's mother likes that. <clears throat> we have also had pot noodle. This is a Bombay bad boy. Not a bad boy. You understand me. It's a curry noodle thing, and it was really good. I'd never had the Bombay Bad Boy before, but it was really good. So that's a good one. <clears throat> what else we got? More nor. Nor. Country vegetable soup. This is pretty good. I had the last one for lunch a few weeks ago. Actually. I don't know why they, that's like an English thing. I see that in <laughs> Safeway all the time. Really? Yeah. Well... At least the brand name, anyway. I don't See, know. this is the thing. The English ones taste different. So, like, <coughs> you Probably can buy more salt. You can buy Heinz baked beans at the local grocery store, right? But they don't taste the same as these. But it tastes better. But if you like baked beans, you can also check out the Cooking Geek channel because I have a Heinz bean copycat recipe, which is fantastic. I'm telling you, it's really good. We just finished the last ones off, so I'm gonna have to make some more of those. But anyway, <coughs> really good. Also, what I'm almost done with is Weetabix. 
for breakfast. Delicious. Wheat a bix. Wheat a bix. You put um, some milk and a bit of sugar on. Sounds like a pharmaceutical. It's delicious. You can eat some dry, but it's horrible. <laughs> it's like <laughs> wheat a bix. That's like something they prescribe. That's a proctology would uh, prescribe to you. Clean you out. All right. Well, anyway, the rest of the stuff. Oh, God, it's all sweets. Uh oh. Um, you missed out on these. We had these in the um, Christmas brick grub, which are munchies. It's like a gorilla nipple. Well, you, you'd know. Hmm. They're good, aren't they? Mm hmm. Just little bite size. Yeah. We've had these before, I think. Rocky caramel. But I have two boxes, of, two bags yeah, of them. And they gave you a bunch of them. And I'm fine with these because I love these, actually. Yeah. Mm. That is some powerful caramel. In three, two. That's like a big Kit Kat. But with a shortbread. Mm -hmm. Not like the wafer. And we have two of them. In England, I would call those similar to something called millionaire shortbread. Do we have that once? Mm-hmm. These are new. I haven't seen these before. These are Aero Melts. Now, Aero is a chocolate full of bubbles. So, like Swiss chocolate? No. You're trying to Swiss, Swiss cheese chocolate? Can you? Who needs your orange? Well, I like them. No, not bad. It's not something I would regularly go. You know, like them Christmas orange thingies? Yes. Oh. Uh, I like them. No. Then we have a packet of polos, which you can never go wrong with. Good mints. Minty fresh. Uh, I would open this to let you try, but Kristen loves Cadbury's flakes. So I can't let you do that. Is it like a flaky thingy? Flaky chocolate, basically. Yeah. I also can't open because we got these. Galaxy Caramel, because mm. Kristen loves that. Or <laughs> Twirl, because she loves that as well. Just call that the Kristen pile. Oh my gosh, Kristen, is she yours? But what she doesn't like are you, these, which are Yorkies. And a dog. <laughs> so this was advertised years ago. Go that chunk there. As chocolate for truckers. <laughs> And it was basically advertised as it's such a big chunk of chocolate, women can't eat things. Oh, I was going to say they thought there was speed in it. Mm -mm. That's solid chocolate. Mm hmm. Good though. Dib Dabs. This is um, lemon flavored sherbet with a strawberry lolly. Is that like the. Um, yes. The stick and the sugar? Yes. Kristen loves those. Man, I, I, I used to eat that when I was a kid. And finally, a curly whirly, which we have had before. Basically, caramel and chocolate in a curly whirly thing. I think you just pop <coughs> one of those out of your ass. <laughs> but there you go. Another break grub. Some good stuff. A lot of which we've had before, but I'm all right with that because I'm already out of a lot of stuff. Right. If you subscribe to Break Grub, please let us know if you've got something similar. We're very interested to see that. Mm -hmm. Also, links to our Patreon merch page. The Cooking Geek is down below as well. If you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. It's free to subscribe as well, but it helps us out. And is that everything? I think so, right? Mm -hmm. So that's it. Till next time. Until we taste another break grub. Take care, internet. We'll see you soon.